Hello everybody, the Bode 100 is a vector network analyzer and a frequency response analyzer at the same time. This means that you can measure S parameters and complex transfer functions. In this video I will show you how. So let's start with S parameter measurements. An S parameter measurement is done in a 50 ohm domain for example. So we have a device on the test which is connected to the output of the Bode 100 with its input and the output of the device on the test is connected to channel 2. Channel 2 needs to be terminated with 50 ohms and the Bode 100 has a 50 ohm source. If all these requirements are fulfilled, we can measure S parameters and we can measure the gain or attenuation of the device, S21, which is uh, defined by the output voltage of the device in the test divided by half of the source voltage. Why do we use half of the source voltage and not the original voltage? If we assume that the device on the test has a 50 ohm input, we would have half of the source voltage here, since the source is a 50 ohm source. But since we want to have a measurement which is independent from the input impedance, we use um, the source voltage divided by 2. So this is the formula for S21. There's a second scattered parameter that you can measure, which is S11, and it is a signal that we send in into the device of test and the reflected signal. This can be also shown in this formula where Z is the input impedance of our device on the test and the 50 ohms is the, uh, the impedance of the system. So S11 and S21 and these are the values that we will measure now. For the S parameter measurement we are measuring a 25 MHz high pass filter. We have connected the input of the filter to the output of our body 100 and the output of our filter to channel 2 input of the body 100. The channel 2 input is terminated with a 50 ohm termination resistor. To start the measurement we select the transmission reflection mode and click the start measurement button. The body 100 is set up automatically and we can check the hardware setup by going to hardware setup and click transmission gain and we can see that we have our source with a 50 ohm source impedance, then there is our output that is connected to the input of our device on the test and we have the output of our device on the test connected to a 50 ohm termination of channel 2 and receiver 2 is picking up the signal here, so we are fine. So let's hit the start button and immediately we can see uh, the gain of our uh, filter which is S21 and if we want to see the roll-off frequency, we can enter 25 megahertz. And we see that this is in the roll-off of the filter. The second curve, the blue curve, is the reflection curve. This is S11. S11 gives you an indication how well the filter is matched to the line impedance. In the pass band, we have a very good matching of better than 40 dB, while in the stop band, there is no matching, so the reflection is 0 dB, which means all the signal that is sent to the filter is reflected and sent back to the source. So this was quite quick and easy. Now let's have a look at the complex transfer function. When you set up the Bode 100 as a frequency response analyzer, we can measure the transfer function. This is especially handy if our device on the te test is somewhere in a network. Because then I can use oscilloscope probes and I connect channel 1 to the input of the device on the test and channel 2 to the output of the device on the test. For sure, when I use oscilloscope probes, I need to switch the inputs of the Bode 100 to high impedance. So I no longer use 50 ohms, I use high impedance. The formula is then transfer function is output voltage of the device on the test divided by the input voltage of the device on the test, which is channel 2 divided by channel 1. The important thing is that we are doing a complex measurement. This means that as well the magnitude and the phase of the complex transfer function is available. Let's have a look at the Bode 100 how to do this. To measure the voltage transfer function I have slightly modified the measurement setup. The output signal of the Bode 100 is now connected to an attenuator. After the attenuator I have a PNC T which will allow me to pick up the input voltage of the high pass filter. After the filter I have another PNC T where I can pick up the output voltage of the filter and then I have another attenuator, attenuator and a termination. Now I use the blue probe that is connected to channel 1 to pick up the input voltage of our filter and the pink probe 
which is connected to channel 2 to pick up the output voltage of our high pass filter. So now let's do the measurement. To measure the voltage transfer function, we can use the predefined gain phase mode. We simply click start measurement. We have to change the start frequency to the values, the value that we had before, so 100 kHz, and the stop frequency we will change to 40 MHz. In addition, we will switch to linear sweep. We can now check the hardware setup like we did before and we can see that the output of the Bode 100 is connected to the device on the test and is in addition picked up by channel 1. There is no termination activated, so we have a high impedance input here and this is important because we are using probes. We can set the probe factor to 10 to 1 and at the output of the device on the test we have the second probe connected. We can again set the probe factor to 10 to 1 there is no termination activated and therefore we pick up the output signal of the device in the test at receiver 2. So now let's close the hardware setup and start the measurement. We get now two curves. The curve number one, the red curve, is the magnitude while the blue curve represents the phase of the transfer function. To get a better view we can switch the view to two diagrams by selecting one axis per chart. The top chart now shows the magnitude, the bottom chart shows the phase. To improve uh, the noise floor at the stop band we have several possibilities. One possibility is to reduce the receiver bandwidth um, of our measurement so we go to 100 Hz. Now the measurement is slower but you can see that the noise floor has improved. Further on we can reduce the attenuators, so for example from 20 dB to 10 dB and the noise will further improve, improves. Well that's it, we have done an aspirometer measurement and a transfer function measurement with the Bode 100. To learn more about the measurement possibilities with the Bode 100 visit our webpage omicron-lab.com